This time, we will explain about diffraction gratings with an experiment. A diffraction grating is currently being displayed on the monitor. This diffraction grating has openings that allow light to pass through every one micrometer. This distance is called the grating constant. The diffraction grating and the screen are approximately 20 centimeters apart. When green laser light with a wavelength of 532 nanometers is incident on the diffraction grating, it splits and reaches three points. The center and two points approximately 12.7 centimeters to the left and right of the center on the screen. In fact, this position where the laser light reaches can be calculated theoretically. Now, we assume that the grating constant is sufficiently small compared to the distance from the diffraction grating to the screen. If, with counterclockwise rotation considered positive, the angle theta of the light passing through the diffraction grating toward the screen satisfies the equation there exists an integer m such that d sine theta equals m lambda, then the light passing through the openings of the grating will interfere constructively. Here, d is the grating constant of the diffraction grating, and lambda is the wavelength of the light. Using this equation for theta, let's calculate the position where the light will brightly illuminate the screen. Now, by substituting d equals 1 micrometer and lambda equals 532 nanometers into the equation, we obtain the following. Next, by multiplying both sides of this equation by 10 to the 6th, we obtain the equation, sine theta equals 0.532 times m. Since m is an integer, when m equals 0, sine theta equals 0. When m equals plus or minus 1, sine theta equals plus or minus 0.532. For other values of m, there are no real solutions for theta. Therefore, from these equations for theta, we can obtain the result that the light passing through the openings of the diffraction grating will brightly illuminate the screen at the angles of 0 degrees and plus or minus 32 degrees. Now, to obtain the position on the screen from these angles, we take the front of the diffraction grating as the origin, and the left direction as positive. Next, we calculate the theoretical positions on the screen, where the laser light appears bright, by multiplying the screen distance by the tangent of 0 and plus or minus 32 degrees. The result is 0 and approximately plus or minus 12.6 centimeters. Now, if we compare this figure with the experimental results from earlier, we see that the theory can explain with good accuracy where the laser light will illuminate the screen.